Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Before we get into it, you know the drill. Follow me on all my social media that you see on your screen right there and subscribe to my channel. So what I did off camera was my eyebrows and I did do eyeshadow primer and I was just setting that with a white eyeshadow. And then I'm taking my Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette and I took the shade Burnt Orange and placed that all over my crease area with a Wet n Wild blending brush and then I'm taking the shades red ochre which is a pinkish reddish shade and cypress umbar which was the brown shade from that same palette and I'm placing those two shades on my lid these are the only shades you're gonna need for this whole look Then I just take a clean blending brush, again it's by Morphe, I'll leave the number down below, and I'm just cleaning up the edges. And as per usual, I did leave my eyeliner routine off of this video, as well as my applying of my false lashes, just because, again, I need full concentration when I'm doing this and I tend to cover the camera with my mirror so I'm so sorry about that but if you'd like a tutorial on just that I can do that for you guys and here I'm taking the MAC illuminating primer and just placing that all over my skin and I'm going to use two foundations today it's gonna to be the L'Oreal Pro Glow mixed with the L'Oreal Pro Matte the reason I did this is because my skin is dry but I love the coverage of the Pro Matte but again I can't use it just because it'll cling to my dry spots so I add just a little bit of the Pro Glow to make it dewy and hydrate my skin On another note guys, there is a hurricane coming to Florida, which is where I live if, in case you guys didn't know. And um, if I don't upload in a few weeks, it might be because I lost power. This is why I wanted to get this video up for you guys because I don't know if I'm going to have power to upload for like at least like a week. So yeah, if I'm MIA, it's because of that. It was the hurricane. And again, I told you guys this is like my new favorite concealer. I grabbed my Wet n Wild Photo Focus Concealer in the shade Light Ivory to highlight and just cover up those bags, you know what I'm saying? And then I get a little fancy with my translucent powder and I took my Laura Mercier to bake under my eyes and I actually didn't even bother setting my face because I used the Pro Matte and I didn't want my skin to dry out because I'm telling you guys my skin has been so dry so I didn't set it I just baked under my eyes a little bit and then I dust it off within like a minute. Next, I'm actually taking a product that you guys recommended to me, and it's the Hoola Bronzer by Benefit, and I actually have had this for quite some time, but I haven't used it in a while, but since a lot of you guys were telling me that's one of your favorites, I decided to bring it back out for old time's sake, and I actually don't even know why I stopped using it, because it is so beautiful, so thank you for recommending it to me. 
And then I took the Kat Von D Shading Light Contour Palette and I used the lightest shade from that just to contour my cheekbones and make them look more defined. And I don't even know why I did this step here because it didn't even show up on my skin because I do such a light amount of blush because I hate blush. But in case you guys were curious, it was the Milani Luminoso blush. And for my lower lashes, I did red ochre on my lower lashes, just that shade by itself from the Anastasia Modern Renaissance palette. And then I took the L'Oreal Telescopic Mascara for my lower lashes. And lastly, for one of my all-time favorite parts, it's the highlighting part. And I'm taking the Carly Bible palette and mixing those two shades you see there. And yeah, I'm just blinding you guys right here. You know it's my favorite. And this highlight is so beautiful, guys. Like, I forget. Like, I forget how much I love this. Look at that. Oh my god, okay. You guys need it. And lastly for lips, I just took a no-name lip liner. It was like a plum shade. And I also took the Anastasia Beverly Hills lip palette and took the darkest shade from that and applied it all over my lips. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed. It was super easy. So don't forget to subscribe and like and I will catch you guys next time.